Hey fellow QuickBooks lovers, this is Debbie Kilsheimer in Port Orange, Florida with another tip and trick for your QuickBooks use and business. Anyway, here I'm sitting here and I've gotten a new client and they've given me six credit cards that I need to enter in an entire year's worth of data. Now I could sit here and individually enter each credit card transaction, put in a new vendor, and it would just take me forever. Well, I wanted to speed up the process. So I came up with this Excel spreadsheet. Here's my Excel spreadsheet right here. And what I have is, I'm in a column for an amount, a column for the category, a chart of account column, and a total entry column. And what I've done is this chart of account, I've just exported their chart of account so I can get the exact word, how, how the chart of account is listed in their QuickBooks file. And in this column right here is a sum if statement. What the sum if means is, let me click on it so you can see, sum if the B rate column is, if the words in B, match the words in D, I want to sum what's in column A. So how it's going to work is this. I've co taken the credit card statement and I've gone down. This is just right straight typed in right from the credit card statement. Just gone down the list right from the statement and over off to the side here is the different category it relates to on the chart of account. For example, the client has coded that this is gifts for employees, she is, this is sundries and miscellaneous expense, and I just match exactly what's in the chart of accounts. And what happens is, let me just show you how it works. Let's go to the advertising and promotion. I'm going to make it be a million, a uh, thousand dollars. I want you to watch this column right here, what happens. Ten thousand dollars. It's now going to add it up. Now I also want you to notice that the color that it is. Now how did it do that? That's called conditional formatting and I have a rule in here. I've just highlighted the column E. I've gone up to my toolbar, conditional formatting, and I said if the entry in, if the an amount in total here is over zero, I want you to color it a certain color. I'll show you why that's important in a second. So let's change this to automobile expense just so you can see how it works. I'm going to change this to automobile expense. It's going to match exactly what's in the QuickBooks file. Okay, let's copy that so I can get it right. I misspelled it. Notice how it fills it in. Ta-da! I just love that. Okay, so let's go back. Now I'm going to go to my QuickBooks file because here is my entry. This great basically creates my entry. I'm going to go to my QuickBooks file and I'm going to start putting in the amounts. Advertising and promotion, $10,000. You know, I have automobile expense. Let's type that in. Automobile expense, 153.36. I have employee benefits and gifts. Well, whether I agree with her categories or not, this is a different, different um, topic, but I'm doing exactly what the client wants, what she's told me these thing, expenses are. 8794. Let's keep going down the list. Notice that's easily from, it's easy for me to find um what the different things are sundries and miscellaneous sundries sundries 97330 at the very end shareholder distribution she did have some things that she personal charges on the card no big deal okay so there's the charges that she has on the card i have this the date i use on the credit card one big entry is the date of the statement and then i click save and close then I just go to banking, reconcile. I put in the date, the ending balance, which happens to be on this particular credit card, 3568. I can click it, click it, and make it be zero. That's all there is to it. And that, that will totally speed up your data entry for um, your year end or whatever. And I love using this for clients. It just makes um, entering credit cards so much faster. Anyway, this is Debbie Kilsheimer in Port Orange, Florida. Hope you like my new tip and trick. Bye-bye.